congresswoman claiming Jewish heritage exposed as Yahtzee granddaughter. Okay, here we use the term Yahtzee um, because YouTube doesn't like the real word, okay? But we were referring to the baddies in World War II, okay? I think we all know what I'm talking about. If you don't know, look at the screen, you can see the actual word, okay? But I'm gonna say Yahtzee. Florida Republican Congresswoman Anna Paulina Luna, who happened to claim to be Jewish, was exposed by uh, exposed by journalists as actually the granddaughter of a member of the Yahtzee Armed Forces. On February tenth, uh, the Washington Post shed light about the politician's true origins and called her out for lying about her Jewish heritage. And in, in in a previous interview in November of 2022 with the Jewish Insider. In the interview, Luna said that she was raised as a Messianic Jew by her father and claimed to have Ashkenazi Jewish heritage. According to several family members, Luna is the paternal grandchild of Heinrich Meyerhofer, who served Yahtzee Germany's armed forces back in the 1940s. Moreover, Luna is considered the first Mexican-American woman elected to Congress from Florida. However, in the past, she said that she was Middle Eastern Jewish, or Eastern European. Okay, to be so, fair though, you can't hold her, that's her, I mean, you don't inherit Yahtzeeism. So no. that's, I mean, maybe, I mean, if she's lying, you could hold her accountable for lying about her, I don't know, ancestry, but her grandparents being Yahtzees, that's not her fault. That's not. Okay. No, but she, what is her fault is that she seems to be a liar. Okay, yeah, that part. What that is her fault part. is that she's a liar. So yeah. what was super interesting about this, because <laughs> I don't know what's going on right now in America, but we have a few Republican representatives that are claiming to be Jewish, and it turns out that they're lying, and then it turns out that they're lying about, like, a lot of stuff. Because we, yeah. I, if you pay attention to American politics, we have a whole controversy surrounding this dude named George Santos, who claimed he was Jewish. He claimed he was a lot of things. Turns out he's actually, he, he used to be a drag queen in Brazil. It's, it's crazy. It goes so deep. <laughs> but um, <laughs> Anna Paulina Luna, she has claimed many different types of heritage over the years. And then she used to say that she was just like a white person she, she would say that she would fill out her census form saying that she was white, not Hispanic. She had previously said that she was Middle Eastern, that she was Jewish, that she was Eastern European, all this stuff. And then when she starts running for a Republican seat in Florida, she all of a sudden it leans all the way into her Latina heritage. All of a sudden, it's all about being a Mexican-American. All of a sudden, it's about being Latina. Da, da, da. Whereas well, at, the least, at least he's not racist like his grandparents. If he thinks, <laughs> if she th if she thinks these are good things to be, I mean, I mean that that actually does make her racist. Never mind. <laughs> so um, yeah, it was just it's wild. Like all she has all these stories about her past that the Washington Post went to go interview people who were a part of like these stories and events and they're like this isn't really true like she said that um you know her mother had to raise her completely on her own and they didn't have any help and then her family members are interviewed and they're like no nah, we we like all raised her together like <laughs> there was a break-in that she said traumatized her and made her realize how much she needs to you know own a gun and all this stuff and meanwhile she was working like in the armed forces at the time like had a gun like the person who was were living with her during this break-in was like all the details of what she talks about isn't how it actually happened like and then she's been like lying about her heritage not only lying about her heritage saying that she's a messianic jew which means like you're a jew but you believe in jesus um Everyone in their family is like, um, that's not true. And not only that, but that's we have not, this photo well, you don't of your grandfather wearing a Yahtzee uniform. So, wait, Messianic Jew doesn't mean you believe in Jesus. I think you just believe in it. You're waiting for the end of times. You're waiting for the Messiah kind of thing. 
Not... My understanding is a Messianic Jew is someone that follows Jesus to some capacity. I could be wrong. Um, no. And anyways, yeah, it was just, it oh. was a wild, wild exposure. Oh, yeah, you're right, actually. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Sometimes called two Testament Jews. Um, yeah. And to I don't know how to put this the right way, but based on the information, because I read the report by the Washington Post, um, their family members or people who knew her grandfather said that he actually hated having to be part of the Yahtzee armed forces and that it was something that you had to do when you were a young person during that time. Um, like for a lot of people joining the, um, the Adolf youth, uh, was like mandatory, you know? Um, so yeah, this was just had all sorts of twists and turns. Yeah. That's so crazy. Found a comment. It says Messianic Jews are Jewish people who believe in Jesus Christ as the Messiah. Okay. I was right. They combine elements of Judaism with Christianity and their religious practice and identify as both Jewish and Christian. Okay. You know where I got this from? Guess Wikipedia? where I got this from? No. Chat GDP. Yes. <laughs> Always from that one. I am becoming. Wait, I realize that you say you say chat I know, GBT I say and I say GBT. chat GDP. P. But it's jet no chat GPT. GPT. Yes. Oh damn. <laughs> <laughs> GDP. <laughs> I think I have an economic mindset. That's why I always say. Yeah, GDP. exactly. Get my best-selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.